Oh! Oh, we got it! Oh. Dude, that's another uh, million broken. Dude, this thing sucks. Good morning, Murph here. Welcome back. Corey and I are on a mission again. This morning, we got a beautiful morning, not really a wisp of wind out. Got the kayak again, and Corey's already fishing somehow. I see he's using my rod. Didn't tell him he could use that. <laughs> We're about to load the kayak up, take it down this little rock ravine, and hopefully get us on some redfish, maybe a snook or two. Kind of exploring a new area we just fished last week. Hopefully we can explore some new territory and catch some new fish. I picked a super great day to ride in the front. Oh, we're hitting. There's a channel to the left. Oh, time to get out. A slight push to the right or left. There we are. We made it. Now we're really in the bayou. After spending the morning fishing in the mangroves back in some deep creeks and, and little backwaters, with no luck, we decided to head out to a different area and ended up stumbling upon a couple of rock piles out on the open flats and ended up getting into a couple fish. Oh, I'm getting chased already. Oh, dude. Look at all the trout, dude. It's insane. <gasps> Come on, eat it. Oh my gosh. I, had, I got hit four times. Yep. Yep. Oh. Oh my gosh. There we go. <laughs> Oh, this is sick. not the biggest one that was in there. <laughs> Getting another rod. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, good idea. Look at this, guys. That's a pretty one. And on the gator nugget. That might be the first trout ever caught on a gator nugget. Gator trout, gator nugget. Well, maybe not a gator trout, a decent one. Decent guy, 18 to 19 inch range. Here you go. What's crazy is I switched over to this inline, these inline hooks. I got hit four times before I got a fish on. Corey, if he's got a trout, that's one of those good ones. Or it's a turtle. <laughs> or it's a turtle. We might have a turtle. Because there's some turtles in the area. I'm not even gonna stop rolling and see it. That's a redfish probably, huh? Or is that a huge trout? There's a couple of good ones around here. Cobia, got the mixed bag out here. Took a break from the mangroves to come catch Cobia out here. All right. <laughs> hey, it's a Cobia. Well, I don't think the trout liked that Cobia bite or us catching two of their buddies real quick. Cause uh, they're not eating. I did not expect us to catch a Cobia today. Oh, I had trout chasing me right now. <laughs> I'm not sure about the hookup ratio on these single hooks. Obviously not as good as trebles, but is it even good enough to use? One thing that you'll notice about a cobia is that there just is no quit in them. They will fight, they'll run, they'll, they'll fight just as good as any other fish, but that's really not where they shine. Where they shine is right next to the boat, and you'll see where Corey here is really struggling. <laughs> That's a cobia. No, you're not gonna stop. He's close to keeper. <laughs> nah. It's not even that big of a fish. It's just a cobia. Doing what he does, what they do. <laughs> you want pliers? I don't even have any on me. You got them right by your feet. Nice and easy guy. Those things are like little knives that'll go right into your hand or your foot or whatever. And that's just a little guy. Imagine that on a 30 pound, 40 pound one. Pretty little fish. Beauty. Definitely a surprise for the bag today. <laughs> People often mis uh, identify those as remoras or remoras as cobia. But you good for these? Yeah, we're good. He's ready. He's ready. Cobia are always ready. <laughs> That's a successful little stop. A million broken. 
Dude, this thing sucks. I had a good trout. Good trout. I just got hit again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not giving up on it yet, but I'm about 50%. It's getting an F right now. Inline hooks, while they may be good for the fish, you're, they're good, really good for them because you catch half. The hookup ratio is terrible. Bass them. All right, give that a shot. I'm gonna try ripping them a new one next time I get a bite. Cause I didn't bass it. I just normal hook set, just kind of pulled up. I'll bass it. If that hooks it, if that does it, then that's kind of cool actually. It's kind of fun. Oh, just got boiled on. <laughs> I'm having to bass this thing. Dude, that's another. Right, throw it away. Yeah, I'm. Throw we're, it the we're 10. I just. <laughs> it's on. Tarpon hook set. It's a good one. I just freaking laid into his face. It's a good trout. Oh, it feels good. Yes, it's not a bad one. Ooh, okay. Whoa. Yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, what I did was I roasted him at the beginning. He's still got a lot of energy. All right. There's still hope for it. I just want the record to be known, though. Oh. You see it? Yeah, his lip. All right, well, there's that. It's like the record to be known. That's about five hits on this thing. Inline hooks, which I'm a big proponent of not ripping fish's faces off with trebles, but if you can't even catch them to begin with, what's the point? Hookup ratio so far, not great on the inlines. Not good. Not good. Oh no, hooked it. Yeah. Cat daddy? Cat daddy. It's a baby cat daddy. Now how come you oh. get hooked? Perfect. Just made the cast to the big zone, the giant trout zone. Throwing an inline or an inline mirrodine. Not happy with it so far. I will say, the past two fish that hit me, I jammed the hook set and they both got hooked. Except for the one came off right next to the boat, but that's just a trout. That can, that can happen easily. That is a trout. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh we got it. Oh. It's a good one, too. He, he ate it three times. <sighs> it was in his mouth. I set the hook. I swear, sometimes you do worse when you see them do it. <sighs> oh, that was so sick. He's going straight back for his rock. Big old sea turtle. He's got something following him underneath. I think it's a cobia. You got, you got a jig to throw? Yeah, it's definitely a cobia. Ugh, turtle scum. He's moving fast though. Of course the sun's gone, so I have no idea. It's funny, he was right in between his legs, like right in his crotch, underneath. Oh, same size? Yeah, yeah, little guy. Oh, there's a cobia. Gosh, dang, that was, <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> dang it. He chased me all the way to the boat. What the heck? I doubt he'll eat again. <laughs> Cobia, I think. There's a jack. It came right off where that stingray was. I don't know. It's Cobia. He <laughs> must have been sitting right around that stingray. That's crazy. Uh, something little was next to him. Next to him. Cobia bite today. Cool. Cool. Wonder where if this is close to solo cobia. I think uh, right after tarpon season is when he used to do solo cobia. That's where you need a net. That's gotta be one of the hardest fighting fish. 
act next to the boat. It's hard to say, look how cool this fish is when he's totally roasting your butt. <laughs> See ya. They are cool though. He's gonna go nuts. That is a cobia. Cobia. They are very strong. If you want to see more videos like this, click or tap the screen here or down here. Peace.